let me tell you who is a franchisee. Imagine some guy goes to his wife at the end of a day and says to his wife, I have been working 12 hours a day. I can stand my boss. I hate the guy. I hate everything about my job. I want to leave corporate America. Let's put my 401k money, your IRA money. Let's get that 150,000 and let's become entrepreneurs. We want to make sandwiches. And his wife tells him, honey, you don't even make sandwiches for yourself. I'll make them for you every night. You're going to go make sandwiches for strangers? Yes. I'm going to get a sandwich shop. It's going to be a franchise of Subway. He forks 150000 he goes, he gets trained. He becomes the subtenant of Subway. Do I care who Subway sub, subleased to? I don't care. I got a corporate guarantee from Subway. They're paying me 8300 They may be charging him 10000 They're making money on the lease. They're making money from the food. They're making money from the marketing, the posters. He has to change. And you look at the guy in the store. You own the building. And you see him working, not 12, but 16 hours. Because he hired people that didn't show up. People ate his food. The refrigeration unit didn't work. They want him to change the marketing. He gets so sick and tired of it. 16 hours a day, the guy's working his heart out. Then he goes back to his wife. He said, I can't talk to anybody. I'm so tired. I need to go back to my boss. I hope he's not mad at me. And he tells Subway, shove it. I've got to go back to corporate America. I had some benefits. And now they tell him go and they bring another franchisee. You understand why I sign with Subway? Because they want the location. They want to control who's coming under them. And I look at this guy and I say, how come he doesn't know he should be owning the building and leasing from himself? As a matter of fact, he can get an SBA loan and get a commercial loan at 10% down because he didn't come to my trainings. <laughs> and I'm on YouTube. So God wants him maybe to work a little harder until he finds his way out. There must be some divine intervention, because I was working in hotels. I was working so hard, I couldn't see straight. 12, 15, 16 hours a day at the Century Plaza Hotel in Los Angeles, beautiful hotel, until some billionaire came in and said, you're working too much. Come and work for me. There may be luck in getting a job, no luck in keeping it and growing it.